I can't believe what I've just done. I have just bought some bib shorts that sell for £180. I know. What am I thinking? I'm a child of the 50s and we didn't have a great deal. So that's made me very careful with money. My wife's the same. She was brought up in the same sort of household and we tend to be very careful about spending money and we, although we're comfortably off now, we still think twice, sometimes three times before making a biggish purchase. Uh, I've been like that with cycling clothes. Although I do cycle a lot, uh, I do resist spending huge amounts of money on cycling clothing because I tend to think it's uh, sometimes overkill. You're paying for a name rather than quality. I needed some new bib shorts because uh, one pair had worn through and I needed to replace them with something that was going to give me comfort on a long ride. Now I had some Castellis which were excellent, uh, pretty comfortable on a long ride, no problem at all. Uh, but I replaced them with a pair of DHB Aeron that were advertised as being suitable for seven hour rides. Perfect, I thought. They were £80 but reduced to 60 so that was a good deal. So I bought them. Now on my first ride, when I got to 30 miles, I realised I was getting some chafing from the stitched areas. I carried on thinking it was just because it was a new pair, but it actually got worse. And by 40 miles, I was starting to suffer. Um, there was no way I was gonna get 100 miles out of it. So I decided I'd try them one more time, and if not, I'd contact uh, Wiggle. Now, sure enough, second time, they were just the same. Now I'd worn these shorts twice now, so I couldn't send them back. But I contacted Wiggle all the same and I explained that I wasn't happy and the reasons why. They came back to me almost instantly and said, absolutely no problem at all. You can either send them back to us for a warranty claim, uh, in which case, once it's past warranty, we will give you your £60 back in cash. Or if you're prepared to accept a credit, then you can keep the shorts and we'll send you the £60 credit. Well, that was a no-brainer for me because obviously I can wear these shorts for certainly rides up to 30 miles quite happily. So I always buy plenty from Wiggle anyway, so I decided I'd accept that offer. So top marks to Wiggle. It meant I needed a replacement. Now my elder son is a great fan of Le Col, but I couldn't be persuaded to spend the sort of money that, that they wanted, even though I'm sure it's a quality product. Uh, but at the weekend, he called me, oh, it's a Friday, and he said, the Col have got a deal on at the moment. They're reducing their top of the range, oars category shorts, gold edition, to 150 pounds, uh, to which I said, no, it's still too much. But he reminded me that I had a £50 Strava voucher that the Col were giving away if you achieved a certain uh, standard. So I had a look at that, applied it, and it worked. So I could get these shorts for £100. So I bit the bullet. In addition to that, because he was recommending me as a new customer, we would both get one of their sport gilets free of charge. So it was getting better all the time. My big issue now was sizing. Yeah, I'm sure you've experienced this yourselves where sizes vary between brands. I mean, some brands I, I've had extra large. Sometimes I've even had to go for XXL, which yeah, it's, it's just these things are designed around racing snakes sometimes and uh, us fuller figured cyclists maybe are not catered for as well. So I sent Le Col an email. That was on Friday evening. I knew I wouldn't get a reply until Monday uh, at the earliest, but the offer was on over the weekend. So I decided I'd make my best guess. I looked at the reviews. Some said the size was accurate. Some said 
they come up small. So I ordered the 2XL just to be safe. Uh, Monday, I got an email saying, your order has been cancelled, which I thought odd. But the email next to it that arrived fractionally earlier was from a chap called Mark at Le Col. Mark had actually read my email, looked at my sizing information and had said, these shorts are going to be far too big for you. So we've cancelled your order and we would advise you to order a large. And I said, well, you know, this is crazy. A large is actually uh, for a 34 inch waist. Now I am actually 36 inch waist in trousers. So I sent Mark a note back and said, look Mark, thanks very much, but I really think large is being a bit ambitious. And he said, no, trust me, large is correct, but I will arrange free return for you because they normally charge for returns. I will arrange a free return for you if you're not happy. You can then change them for the extra large. So I ordered them. I reordered them on Monday and here we are today. It's Wednesday and they arrived via DHL. And the first thing I'll say, I'm very impressed with the packaging. All right, it's only a box, but it does show some pride in the product. It just doesn't come in the normal plastic bag that they appear in. So I was impressed with that. When I uh, opened the box, I was equally impressed with the decent packaging inside. I mean, I'm not raving about the box, but you know, again, it exudes quality. When I actually got to the shorts themselves, I was extremely impressed with the quality of the Lycra. It's very, very fine. Detailing on there is very nice. We have actually an embroidered gold lacol logo here. Not that I'm bothered about showing that off. It will probably be covered with my jersey anyway, but uh, you know, for those that uh, want to, it uh, I'm sure will impress others. The straps are nice and wide. They're elasticated. And chaps, you'll notice that these are designed with this cutaway at the front. If you can see that, and we all know what that's good for. So first impression is very good. But the all important pad, the chamois. This is made by a company in Italy called Dolomiti. I've checked their website. They make some really high tech pads. And this one actually has a gel insert in these parts. And this is where the sit bones are. You can equally see that although it's, it's got some good depth to it, it's not actually too thick. So it's not gonna be like wearing a giant nappy. It's also a reasonable size. So there's a fair amount of coverage for the undercarriage. So, now, all it remains for me to do is try it on and see if Mark was correct. No, you're not going to watch that. Well, I've just tried them on and I have to say, Mark, you were 100% right. I can't believe it. The fit was absolutely superb. The Legs, the, the cuff there was slightly loose, but of course, once you're riding, that does ride up to the thicker part of the thigh. So that's not an issue at all. The pads, the gel pads are sitting right underneath the sit bones. So I've no doubt it's gonna give me a comfortable ride. So we've got a very nice box. We've got some high quality Lycra. We've got a nice thick sumptuous pad. So obviously all that remains now is for me to ride. So what I plan to do is uh, a century ride or thereabouts so I can give the shorts good test and let you know how they feel on different stages of the ride. So let's get on with the riding. Here we are, we're heading out. It's uh, early morning start this morning. Got a long way to go. We're gonna try the century. 
and uh, today I'm actually joined by Wendy. Uh, she's been working up to her 100 miles. She's more than capable because she's, I think she's done 80 odd uh, as the maximum so far, but she's just got to get over the mental side of things. But uh, we'll see how we go. Now the last century I did was just before New Year and uh, as I was coming back into Grantham I was knocked off. Now Wendy here, the last time Wendy tried a century. Good morning everybody. Tell them what happened. I had done about 20 miles and I fell off and broke my wrist so yeah. <laughs> hoping to do a bit better than that today. So yes we're, we're hoping it's not too eventful but <laughs> we'll see. The plan is we're going to stop every 20 miles, have a break, have a little rest, take some fuel on board. I've actually got my pannier on today, so got plenty of supplies. Wendy's got her bag on the front, <laughs> banana, <laughs> banana in the back. So uh, we're all set, so we'll talk to you later.
Well, we're at the halfway point now. We just stopped and had our coffee break. So, uh, feeling all right, Wendy? Uh, yeah, I could just sit here for the rest of the day, though. <laughs> now, we found a very nice coffee shop in Bardney. It's called The Open Door, and uh, it was very nice. We thought we were going to be standing out on the street with a paper cup of coffee, but we were ushered into the garden. Um, you see here they've got bike racks and they made us feel very welcome. So yeah, um, definitely. definitely a good stop for the future. Part of this ride, apart from Wendy doing her first century, which we're halfway to, was to see how I was getting on with these new Lacole shorts, my expensive Lacole shorts. And I have to say they're very good. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention on the, when I looked at them is the, the grippers here. You can see they're a very fine elastic gripper. And, and they certainly uh, keep keep everything in place which is great the other thing is the pad uh, I'm now 50 miles in and I've got no discomfort okay I'm standing up every now and again as you do but uh, yeah no noticeable discomfort whatsoever uh, and I would say certainly with my Castellis I would start to feel that uh, probably at about 40 miles so it's yeah I'm, I'm very pleased Right, we've just stopped for our last break. We didn't know it was my last one. Where's the <laughs> it's chip the pussy? last. It's your last ever one. I need a chip. And pussy. it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, we're I'm 82 in. Wendy, you're what 77? Um, somewhere around there. I'm so uh, we're on the last leg. I'm definitely <laughs> on the last leg. <laughs> but it's, it's turned quite humid actually, and we've been fighting a headwind for probably Head. the last 20 miles. <laughs> so. Uh, going to get going and uh, should see you at the end but uh, fingers crossed hopefully you one, do it. one big hill to do yeah so see you in a bit Well, we've just made it back to Wendy's house. It's uh, it's been a good ride. There were a few hills at the end, so that really tested us. Yeah, we uh, we took some slightly different routes. 
uh, from from the plan so uh, we've ended up a little bit short but uh, she's going around the block a few times just to make up the 100 miles but yeah she's done very well shattered are <laughs> oh, you not <laughs> no, I, oh, no I feel good I think we should go again I could, yeah I could do it again come on then <laughs> <laughs> let me have a cup of tea first <laughs> I've I've got another 10 miles to go so uh, I'm on 104 at the moment, so I'll be 114, hopefully, if I get back all right. So, uh, see you when we get back. Well, that was a great day out on the bike. So I ended up with 114 miles. Uh, I had a little bit further to go. I uh, have to say the last 10 miles was pretty gruelling because it's through the town. We had a lot of bank holiday traffic and also I've got a long, horrible hill to climb. But uh, apart from that, it was a great day. Now, partly the purpose of this ride was to test the new shorts. And I have to say they performed really well. Um, they were probably a little bit snug to start with, but uh, I soon got used to that. But the main thing is that the pad worked superbly. Uh, obviously, I had to do the normal standing up to ease the pressure that you should do with on any long ride. But uh, at the end of the ride, I still wasn't uncomfortable. You know that numbness you often get in the sit bones? I didn't have any of that. So I'm really impressed with the shorts. Now, would I pay £180 for them? No. Would I pay 150 No. But that's just me. Uh, I, I'm sure that, you know, if you're a, a very serious long distance cyclist, then those shorts are going to be a great investment no matter what you pay. But um, Hundred pounds, yep. Yeah, I'm I'm happy that I paid a hundred pounds for them. I think I've got more than enough value. And of course, if you look around for deals with Lacol, and you get the Strava vouchers that they often provide you with, then you'll pay that sort of similar price. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the next video coming up, we're going to have a small giveaway. So look out for that. Should be about another week, I would think. And uh, look forward to seeing you then. Bye.